Well, I think this is a first. I was uh, down here in the basement when when they started doing it without me, yeah. and I had to run upstairs <laughs> to grab my camera. You but this is, uh, you know, this is the riveting part. So you got to just have like the little marshmallows and the big marshmallows because that's just what you had laying around. Your your mom bought them. I don't know. <laughs> you just do what she says. <laughs> she uh. You don't want to get hurt. <laughs> you want to keep your beer and your food rations coming? <laughs> and what else? Uh, That's good. And some beer and food rations, right? <laughs> you want to get paid someday? <laughs> right now you're getting 50 cents an hour, right? Yeah, at least. These are a little... Look, yeah, the goldfish kind of stick into the bag. Mm. What if you just ripped it open? I did. No, like, tear the whole thing open. Well, then it'll blow all over the floor. You think I'm a rookie at this? Yeah. Looks like it. <laughs> you guys need a marshmallow bag wow. opener. That's tough. Yeah. Most of the time, they're not like that one. Yeah. Yeah, they're usually not stuck to the inside or anything. <laughs> Must be it got warm or something. Got warmed up or smushed. Kind of smushed. Oh, these these eggs are gonna taste smushed. These these are these are eggs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, we should just cover these and call them eggs. Yeah. Hey, hey, look at these eggs. <laughs> yeah, you guys already have chocolate covered marshmallows up there. <laughs> just relabel them. <laughs> just tell them that they're uh, funny shaped eggs. These are not the eggs you're looking for. Basically. Until it starts hissing, in, in my case, but if you did it on the stove, I don't know if it would hiss. Mm -hmm. But once it gets pretty hot, I'm going to turn it down. Yeah. Because that'll be enough. The heat will still keep... The heat will... The water will stay hot. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to get these too hot. Yeah, you don't want them to burn. Just like all the other candy. Yeah. So basically dad said if you have a double boiler, like we have a double boiler right here on your stove, you would have it on high heat, right dad? Yep, have it on high heat. For, yeah. Well, I'm going to put some water in there and then uh, it's going to start melting it and then I'll turn it down. Okay. Come with bags to see how many bags I'm putting in here. Ten, okay, ten bags, just like last time. Ten bags, and we'll get some water. We're gonna get a half a cup, ten bags of uh, marshmallows, and a half a cup of water. Or I mean, one cup. One cup. So for 10 bags of marshmallows, it's one cup of water? To start with, I think it'll be maybe a little more, but basically. So it's kind of like a 10 to 1 ratio? <laughs> if people are trying I, to replicate it at home. Yeah, I mean, well, you gotta go, I put the water in to start with a half cup, or one cup. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then I try mixing it up, and as it gets warmed up and starts to melt, I have to make a judgment call whether to add more water or not. Mm -hmm. So it's because the marshmallows are never the same mm -hmm. for some reasons. <laughs> I don't know why. But it takes a little time to see if it's not going to be melted right away. Yeah. Yeah, especially the ones on top. You got to be careful not to add too much water because the water will pool in your in your eggs. Believe it or not. Hmm. Now, see, you can hear yeah. the hissing. For me, that work, I, that means I'm gonna have to turn it down in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't want it to be too hot. Yeah. yeah, it's really hard to make these into recipe videos because yeah, this, this is, this <laughs> cause the last is like, well, once it starts hissing, yeah, it's just, turn it down in a couple minutes. If they want to do this at home, I would just do a a little double boiler and do a bag or two and um, add like a couple tablespoons of water and mix it up until it starts melting. Oh man, you're cutting and close to those three over there. Whew! <laughs> Look 
a little life on the edge. You're just going to have to figure it out, really, when you do it, because that's all I did. Yeah, a lot of candy making is trial and error, huh? Yeah, a lot of it's just... Just basic, you know, you just kind of use your head. Yeah. You just kind of... Common sense. Mm, common sense candy making. That's what it is, really. Well, it's starting to melt a little bit. Oops. It's melting. Hard to believe these are going to be eggs. Yeah. It's like when we're making candy canes, I always say that to little kids, and they yeah. always look at me and go, oh, oh candy canes. <laughs> Wait a few minutes. Just stand there looking at it. You gotta be patient when you make candy. Yeah. It's uh. <laughs> I heard a watch pot of marshmallows boils faster. Yeah. Alright, for those of you wondering, this is what the middle stage looks like of all the melted marshmallows. Well, you we see the way it is now. Mm -hmm. I'm adding a half a cup. Half a cup? Because it's got to be, it's got to be flowing, just like all oh, the okay. other kind of eggs I make. Because I put it in a funnel, and if it, it doesn't go through the funnel. Yeah. So it's good to uh, kind of eyeball and just add a little bit, yep. and then if it's not flowing, then uh, just yep. add a little bit more. Yep, that's about all you do, really. Just kind of check it out that way, eyeball it, and the way it flows. You gotta be careful not to put too much water in. Yeah, just put a little bit at a time. Yep, just a little at a time. Yeah, home people can probably put in like a, I don't know, a teaspoon Te at a time. Yeah, a teaspoon at a time. Yeah, yeah and if you can put, uh, when, once it starts flowing, you can use this and put it in any form you want and then leave it overnight. Hmm. Well, I'd, I'd use cornstarch, but. Yeah. But. Have you ever used any other type of mold for them? No, no, I don't think it'll work. Yeah. Why not? Because it'll be all stuck in there. Oh, because it'll be, okay. Oh, so that's a big reason to use cornstarch, because it doesn't get stuck to anything. Yeah, even jelly beans and all that, like Jelly Belly, the, the jelly beans are made that way in cornstarch yeah. trays, just like the same trays we use. But of course, you know, on a big scale. Yeah. A jelly bean? Yeah, you'd, I, that'd be really hard with the the funnel. You need need like a tiny little funnel. Like we could make jelly beans or the jellies, but I don't need to make more things. I can I can hardly make what I gotta make now. Yeah, is it flowing like you wanted to? Mm. Yeah. A little slow. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of more water. So that'd be like a cup and a half of water altogether, you think? Approximately, yeah. Uh, like yep. <laughs> See, oh, there we go. It's That's flowing. what you're looking for? Yep. Flowing nice and smooth. Okay, that's good. Let's see what temperature it is, because I never, I've only done it by uh, eye. I never knew what the temperature was. Yeah. Let's see. For the thermometer gun. Temperature is. Huh, 112. <clears throat> oh yeah, Dad already pressed the 
the molds ahead of time. I was too busy hanging out with Max. I didn't even know what he was doing. He's too quick for me. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't come out quite as liquidy as uh that's the other no those take, eggs. these take longer yeah and of course these we sell more of these oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah figure so mm -hmm. yeah and this one you actually have to kind of go around the egg instead of just dropping it in and filling it up yeah, it fills in better I mean if you look at the first ones already they're flattened out nice yeah they fill in but yeah, and like a lot of them you can see like it kind of looks like they're filling up over the side and then they just kind of suck back in a little bit. Yep. Like that one too. Like you can even see that little tail is kind of getting sucked back into the egg. Well, these will have to stay in here overnight. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, I'll chuck a cover on with peanut butter, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate. And the uh, the marshmallow ones, did you run those through the enrober for the dark or the milk? Nope, these are all going to be handmade. Yeah. And it's just because you have such a small amount yep. of yeah. each one? Yeah, it's easier. We'll do these, well, five of these trays, which is how many eggs? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen. Four times fourteen. Okay. And we're back, and hopefully my camera's working this time. You gotta be patient when you do these. Mm -hmm. You can't hurry because there's no hurrying. Yeah, there's no hurrying when you're a candy maker.
Having fun? Yeah, how's your back? I'm good. Your back's all right? All right. So, Max has said that he always has like a slight bend in his back. It kind of gets painful after a while. Guess I'm just used to it. <laughs> Just used to your back hurting all the time? Yeah. No, my back doesn't hurt. You can even be a little sloppy, mm -hmm. and it all just goes in there. See? Yeah, because it just kind of sucks just, it back in. It just kind of goes right in place. Did the other creams do that? No. Just these. Hey, Mom said after you're done with this, you get to go home. <laughs> yeah. No, you can stay after school. Dad, who are you going to believe, me or her? Good habit of finishing off the last one. Right at the very last. Look at that. You know just how much to fill up, huh? Perfect. Perfect. So this funnel is not really hot or anything, is it? No, not, not at like, all. Not like the cream center? Nope. Cream centers aren't hot either. Oh, well, when Max was doing it the other day, the, the funnel was pretty hot. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. You were doing something wrong or what? <laughs> the funnel was hot? Yeah, it was hot. I touched it. It was hot. I felt bad for him having to hold it. <laughs> wow. I never had that happen. Yeah. Well, that's because he's hot, Max. Check it and see. Yeah. Gotta melt the chocolate at a hundred and three. Hundred and three eggs. Everybody appreciates the candy. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's nice when people say nice things about it. That's cool. Yeah. It's always nice when people say nice things. Don't yeah. you agree? Yeah. It's nice when they say nice things. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I do. Not disagreeing with you, Daddy-o. <laughs> Always get a couple of weirdos, but most everybody likes it. Okay, we're getting hungry. Yeah. 
Is your funnel getting lighter? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Man, that'd be nice if you guys don't have a really loud furnace at the next place. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have room. Gonna have a whole new set of problems. Good problems. <laughs> Lots of room. Yeah. Actually stand up. And we need a starch room about four times as big as this. Yeah. Wait, I want to see that one just fold right into the egg. Hmm. Very interesting. Like you said, you can be somewhat sloppy. And yeah. it'll still make an egg form. It'll still fill in. Yeah, as long as you made it. You made a good mold. This is pretty forgiving, huh? Yeah. They forgive you. I guess. <laughs> if I have to. Mm hmm. The red green shell. I was thinking of watching it the other day. I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> You can watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Probably the only place you can watch it now, right? Yeah, I think so. Not on the PBS? Nope, not anymore. I gotta get more. So why do you always leave just a little bit in the funnel? Because it's hard to get it out. Oh, <laughs> just because it's hard to do? Yeah, no, the weight of the, the weight and the heat from the new stuff will loosen it up. Oh, okay. So it's just easier? Yep. No sense fighting with it. Yeah. To save time. I reckon. I reckon. You reckon what? <laughs> Mom's wrecking bunnies over there. Wrecking them and fixing them. Yep. Can you see? Yeah. I'm trying to show everything. Got a funnel and the stick, and then I definitely got a lot of close ups. Now I can go on the other side of you. That makes it easier. I don't know if it does.
And here we go again. <laughs> well, that means it's quitting time, right? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> it's not quitting time for another couple weeks, Mom said. Yeah. That's when you're allowed to quit. Yeah, at 6 o'clock at night, too. Woo-wee. And Sunday's off. Wow. Can get spoiled. Yeah. Some more. Can I get a good voila out of you? Voila. 